This is quite possibly the worst TikToker of 2023. A couple of months ago, we actually covered him, and to my surprise, he was just arrested. That was sarcasm. I'm not surprised whatsoever because he essentially harasses, lies, and threatens people as a prank on TikTok. He's the epitome of a garbage influencer who's really only comparable with Mizzy, who we've also covered recently. So to catch you guys up to speed, his first taste of TikTok attention came from this video. Los Angeles, California has the third biggest homeless population in the United States. And today, it's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. Would you like a Baconator, fries, drinks? that cool? All right, what's your name, man? Israel. Israel. God bless you, Israel. I got you. I'll be right back, man. Just one Baconator combo, please. Yeah, we're supposed to deliver. Yeah, man, I got you a, I got you a Sprite. Here, large fry. Do a Baconator, man. I was homeless myself, so I, I want to make sure you get on the right path, you know. You're always able to, you know, get back on your feet. You know, so I, just, I want you to enjoy this. This is really good. All right, take care. Have a nice day. Well, the hate he got for this actually did get to him, so he made this terrible apology video. All right, I want to say this again for people who do not read my description on my last video. The burger Wendy's video with the homeless guy was fake. His name is Israel. He was known around the neighborhood. My friend knew him. He said, yo, Israel, hey, can we get can we get you in this video? Can we get you in the skit? He said, yes. Everything was scripted. It was a fake video. I'm not going to apologize because you guys don't like my fake video. The same people getting mad are the same people who were mad at the Jeffrey Dahmer actor who played him in the series. There is no reason to be sending me death threats, getting upset, sending me hate over a skit. Just because you didn't like the skit doesn't mean you got to hate me. It's that simple. I don't know what else y'all want to hear. I don't know what else y'all wanted me to explain. It was a skit. It was a scripted video. We went back and got him food. We said, bro, but when we come back, walk away. He left as we told him to. We already gave him food ahead of time. We already gave him food after. A lot of the videos you're watching were cut and edited to under one minute. The whole video is like a minute and 30 seconds. You're watching a clipped and edited version. And I don't care about any of y'all in my DM saying, oh, I don't like your video, fake or not. I don't care. It's like watching a TV show. You don't like the role, you don't like the script, then don't watch it. That is 100% deflection and cope. But unfortunately for him, he was lying in this video because clearly, if he faked his videos, he wouldn't be facing three years in prison. But we'll get into that later on in this video. And unfortunately for the world, that's one of his nicer videos. His entire bit is being a burden to society for some surface level attention. Hi. Hi, why are you touching me? Because you smell so good. Okay, uh, no thank you. Can I maybe smell you? I see that you're doing some sort of weird psychology experiment, but if you put your hands on me again, I will call the police. Get away from you me. You smell like a beautiful vanilla candle. Help! Don't do that. <laughs> Help me, Oh my god, this is this is gold by the way. Keep going, keep going. Say say he's black. Say he's black. I'm Don't you have security in this store? I went to get chicken nuggets, ma'am. You were next to the chicken nuggets and I went like that on the side. I didn't even touch you. So he grabbed my body. What body? So he touches a woman for a reaction, then lies when someone gets involved so he can get away with it. But then he just snitches on himself by posting this on TikTok. I briefly talked about this in my last video on him, but I feel like we've seen so many different eras when it comes to pranks on YouTube. Because it kind of started off with the likes of Andrew Hales, like holding the door open for people that are far away. See, those are just kind of like harmless and funny pranks. But of course, when a bunch of people start doing them, they kind of get stale and people wanted crazier pranks. And to fill that demand, so many new channels went all in on fake pranks like Vitaly or Who Man TV or even FouseyTube. This would be probably the 2015 to 2017 prank era. And that's where you have like the gold digger pranks and the fake social experiments that FouseyTube really came up off of. And those people have eventually got caught for fake in their pranks. People started to get tired of them. And that kind of led the new generation of pranksters to be like, okay, I don't want to be a fake pranker like that. But then so many of them just don't have the social antennas to not harass people for their own attention and views. It's like either that or they just straight up don't care to ruin someone's day so they can have their five minutes of attention on the internet. And the latter is likely the problem with the guy that we're covering today, as you can clearly see with this video. Y'all have the regular ears. You have to get them before you lose it. Maybe I don't want to give it to you. Okay, then you can leave. Well, you have an attitude. I'm going to take the kitten from you. No. I'm going to call PD. 
Over a cat? Can you, can you call dispatch? Now you're really not getting the cat. Okay. If you call the cops, you're not getting the cat for sure, though. I work with the police. Department. Yeah, yeah, but you, I don't have to. I don't have to surrender an animal you to you. Don't. It's an option. You don't. You're absolutely. Yeah, I, I found the cat, and you're having an attitude. What is your plan with the kit? I'm gonna put him in a. I'm gonna stop this video here because it just gets way worse, and I don't want this video taken down. But he is an unfortunate thing that's happened to society, and I feel bad for anyone or anything that had to interact with him, including the people who were unfortunately in this video, which is the video that ended up getting him arrested. Um, I'm trying to get something to eat. Do you think you might be spare change by any chance? You want something for the Let me get you a $5 gift. If you could, it'd be a blessing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What's your name? My name is Fun. Fun Trey. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me that food. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> now, if you didn't give me any money to get food, I would have with that rock. But I want to say life's about choices. And you made a valuable choice and the correct choice. You decided to spare money for that meal and I decided what are you talking about, bro? So super sweet. Serious? Bro, get your shit out. You guys are really sweet, you know? I appreciate like that. that. How dare you, bro? Thank you. Oh, so you're lucky. Kind gesture to buy yeah. you something. That's what you want. You want to get here with the You don't take it. I, I know you're not complaining about that, but you're a big ass. Yeah, um, threatening to smash someone's brains in for doing a nice deed for you is a new level of human garbage. Eventually, his actions have to start catching up to him, which they've already started to do because he was just arrested. And this guy that we're talking about also, he's uploaded multiple videos on his YouTube channel where he's kind of being like candid. And it's sad he feels like he needs to do this stuff just to get attention. There's so many ways to make content on YouTube and TikTok and other social media platforms without essentially harassing people. But the Upland Police Department, who arrested him made this statement. We are aware of several recent disturbing social media posts that has been made by the Trevon Sellers, 23 of Sacramento. These posts include threatening videos that were made at a fast food restaurant and at the Upland Animal Shelter, among others. This evening, officers located and arrested Sellers for criminal threats. This investigation is ongoing and any other victims of Sellers are encouraged to contact Upland PD. So if he's convicted, he's facing up to three years in state prison and fines up to $10,000. And after seeing everything he's done, I really hope they throw the book at him because I feel like an example needs to be made so new people don't see this behavior and go, oh, this is how I'm going to make a social media career. Because I, I want to let you guys know, sure, he might be getting attention, but he's not making any money off this, just like Mizzy. There's no way he's getting monetized. And on top of that, his content is short form, meaning you don't really get paid for that at all. Leaving the only way he can actually get money would be from sponsors, but sponsors don't want to touch any of that content. That's for sure. So the only thing this guy's gaining is short term attention, which will give him long term unemployment. But hey, if you want to dive down a rabbit hole of the woman who allegedly saw a lizard person on the plane here. You can check it out here because we did do a deep dive and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.